So as you are saying, there are no doubts. Hmm. There are no doubts in the first two questions. Let us move on to the third question. Third question is very important. If you observe in the second question, maximum there were three terms. And what we were looking at, we were looking at common in all the three terms, isn't it? Whereas this is a special kind of question where we try to take common from first two and last two. Or first and last and these two. Or first and third, second and fourth. What I'm trying to say, we try to take two terms and find common from those two terms. Is this thing clear? So let me just do first part for you. X, Y plus 8X plus 8Y. Just look at it carefully. From first two terms, what is common? Aaron, can you tell me? First two terms, X is common. X is common. So can I write X bracket? What will be remaining in the first term? It will be uh, X uh, plus Y. Very good. X will be remaining from here and Y will be remaining from here. If you don't understand this thing directly, I would request you to do it in the rough work like this. X square is X into X. X Y is X into Y. Common is this. So X is common. Remaining is in the first term. It is mm -hmm. X plus Y plus because there is a plus in between. And from the second term, Y is remaining. Can you see? It's the same thing. So for the second one, it will be eight bracket X plus Y. Very good. Plus eight. Okay, plus eight, not just eight. X plus Y. Vibhu, is this step clear? Yes. Now, this term becomes my first term. This term become my second term. Okay. Now, if you pay attention, Vibhu, in both the terms, there is something common. What is that common thing? Sir, both have X, Y, and Y. X plus Y. So yes. From both the terms, from both the terms, can I take X plus Y common? In the first term, what is remaining? Sir, X. Very good. In the second term, what is remaining? Sir, um, 8. Plus 8. Plus 8. Therefore, factors are just on the x plus y and x plus 8. Is it making sense? Any doubt? Yes, sir. Now, what do I mean by this? It means that if I take this question and divide it, x square plus xy plus 8x plus 8y and divided by x plus y, remainder will be 0. How to do it? That we will teach you later on, maybe in ninth class. Yeah. Is this thing clear? But what I'm trying Maybe to say... Did that. So when we were doing this track in my class, we did that concept. Yeah. So I will teach you, depending upon the need of the class. Okay. If your school has done it, I will do it. 
Okay. If I what I'm trying to teach, what do you mean by factors over here? Factors over here means if I take this term and divide this term, the remainder will be zero. Is this thing clear? Yes. Quickly do the second part and send it to me right now. So in second part, 15xy minus 6x plus 5y minus 2. So remember one thing, this is the crucial moment. If both the brackets are same, that means you are doing correct. Okay. If both the brackets are not same, that means you are doing incorrect. Is this thing clear? Okay. 15xy okay, 15, 15 minus 6x. So 3x is common. 5y minus 2. Very good. Plus 1. Nothing is common in these two. So 1. So 5y minus 2. This is the checkpoint. Both the brackets are same. Hence, you are good 5y minus 2 is common from the first term you get 3x why you are taking 5y this step is incorrect is it making sense i'll do oh, it oh yes sir sorry one second let me do it so that you understand clearly from first to you took 5x common, isn't it? So what happened? 5 into 3, 15, y. Minus, no, not 5, I also. You took 3x common. So 5y minus from these two, nothing is common. That means 1, 5, 5, minus 2. In both the terms, this is the first term, this is the second term. 5, 5, minus 2 is common. Now, from the first term, 5, 5, minus 2 is taken out. What is remaining? 3x is remaining, isn't it? In the second term, 5y minus 2 is taken out. What is remaining? Plus 1 is remaining. So these are the two terms. These are the two factorize, uh, factors. Any doubt, Aaron? Understood? Yes. Very good. On that note, try third, fourth, fifth as homework. Let me tell you, uh, among these, you have to switch the terms. It is quite possible that you might not get first two terms and last two terms. You have to switch the terms. Is this thing clear? But I would like you to try as homework. Okay. Now you can put the heading as factorization using identities. So remember one thing, these were the, we learned four identities as of now. Isn't it in algebra chapter? In algebra chapter, yes. we were expanding. That means, they were giving they were giving you like this x plus y whole square and you were expanding it in the next step x square plus 2xy plus y square remember and this was the answer yes no yes sir. but now they will give you this thing 
and what you need to do you have to go back and contract that means factorize x plus y x plus y can you see there are two factors so in this topic we are going to reverse the process so first of all you have to identify which identity is being used in that question as soon as you identify the identity all you need to do is go back and write this form okay theoretically it is easy let's do some practical questions first question i'm doing examples so that you can also read it through at home and revise later on we will do some of the question from the exercise now just focus on this question and focus on the identity can you tell me which identity is matching the question yes aaron so uh, i think it would be a uh... A square uh, plus two AB plus B square. Very good. So write that thing. A square plus two AB plus B square. Okay. Remember one thing. You should write this thing in brackets. That's the golden rule. Okay. Let's try. My question. X square and always fill the B. How can I write sixteen in bracket? Can you tell me, Vibhu? Could you could you say that again? How can I write sixteen in square terms? Um, say four square. Very good. Four square. Now fill these two terms with A and B. A is what? X, B is what four. Now this is a checkpoint. Just check. Two into four is eight. Into X is eight X. Can you see? Yeah. Now, what is the identity? A square plus two AB plus B square. It is A plus B whole square. So in the next step, I will write A plus B whole square. For my question. What is a? I guess. Sir, I think it would be x. Very good. And what is b? Four. So this is my answer. But I need to factorize. Factorization does not have square. Therefore, my answer is x plus four. X plus four. What does this mean? It means if I divide this thing and x plus four, I will get the remainder as zero. Do you understand how to do factorization using identity? Quickly copy, and I will give you the next question. The next question is four y square minus twelve y plus nine. Do it right now. Four y square minus twelve y plus nine. Okay, do it now. Maybe what do you think? Which identity will be used over here? So I think the same one that we used last time. A square. Uh... Plus two AB minus B square equals to A square plus B, uh, A plus B square. There is a minus in between, so I think we should follow A so square sir, minus two AB plus B square. Okay. And identity is A minus B whole square. As I told you, I will be writing it in brackets. A square minus two 
ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर एरन कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट शुड आई राइट ओवर हियर सो आई थिंक फॉर दिस वन वी कैन राइट टू वाई वेरी गुड टू वाई स्क्वायर विल बिकम फोर वाई स्क्वायर व्हाट अबाउट दिस for this we can write 3 very good so we will substitute the values 2y here and 3 now let us check 2 into 2 4 4 3 the 12 can you see we are correct next step would be just applying this identity a what is a 2y minus b is 3 Whole square. Therefore, two y minus three, two y minus three, are the factors. Is your answer correct, Vibhu? Yes. But um, I did not take. I did not. Uh, the idea I took was a square plus two ab minus b square. That is incorrect. That is not a correct identity. Sir, I have a question. Yeah. So it shouldn't it be two y minus three in the first bracket, but then in the second bracket for the factors, shouldn't it be two y plus three? Why? No, sir. Because when we wrote the identity, it was like that. In this, you are saying this step. Yes, sir. When Yes, I am just expanding. Just like x square can be written as x into x. Oh, okay. So I didn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Aaron, can you tell me which identity will be used over here? So a square minus b square. Very good. A square minus b square, which is a plus b, a minus b. This can be written as. Vibhu, can you tell me how will you write forty nine p? Um, sir. Seven uh, square and b square. See, square is already there, so you will not write. Yeah, seven b. Uh, then minus six b. Yeah, sorry for that. Seven p whole square minus six square. So it won't be. Oh, oh right, sorry. There is no b. Answer is seven p plus six. Seven p minus six are the factors. Is it making sense? How to do it? Yes, no. How to use identities? Yeah. Yes. Now question number seventh, uh, example number seven. Basically, if you observe, there are many terms, but if you pay attention, this question is separate and this thing is separate. A square minus two ab plus b square. So one hint is. Try to solve this thing first, and uh, try later on for the C square. The question was a square minus two ab plus b square minus c square. So I forgot to write the proper uh, the identity for the first mm -hmm. part of the question. Yes. So if you pay attention, see a and b. 
this a and b together na so that's why i will be focusing on these three terms a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b whole square identity used we should write a square if the question is in a we should write the identity in xy okay x square minus 2xy plus y square equals to x minus y whole square so this is the identity so this step is correct now if you pay attention a minus b whole square minus c square so this part becomes a square minus b square identity a square minus b square equals to a plus b a minus b so a a plus b a minus b so my final answer would be a minus b minus c a minus b plus c is the final answer very very important question for exam point of view vibhu is this thing clear yes sir so let me copy it yeah once you copy you can start doing this question m power 4 minus 256 What was the question? M power four minus two fifty six. Yeah. See, whenever there is a power question, minus question, your brain should tell you about one identity: a square minus b square. Identity is a plus b, a minus b. Now you will be like, sir. Identity is for square. Here it is four. How can you match? So I will rewrite this thing as. How can I rewrite n four m power four? Can you write n square whole square? Very good. Now, if you take two fifty six and do prime factorization, so you get sixteen. So. Let me just do it properly. One twenty-eight, sixty-four, thirty-two, sixteen, eight, four, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two power eight. I am getting. Again, I need power two only. So, Vibhu, how can I write two power eight? So we can just do. Uh, so, sir, uh, we can just like uh, let's say we have two. So, sir, two times two times two times two until it gets to two power square, which is sixteen square. Wait, I mean. Other than that, other than that, a easy way would be two power four power two, four to the eight. Okay, is it fine? Yes. Now the question is according to this identity: a square minus b square. That would be a plus b. A minus B. What is A in my question? So M square. M square. Here two power four. M square. Two power four. This thing has plus in between, so it can't be solved further. So this bracket will be like this. Two power four is sixteen. This bracket has a minus, 
So again, this identity will be used. Just be careful. M square minus, how can I write 2 power 4? How can I write 2 power 4 quickly? Sir, 16. No, I don't want to write 16. I want to write in square form. Sir, so, um, 2 is 2 power 2 is um, to the whole square. So this becomes a square minus b square. Hence, it will be a plus b, a minus b. And this part is the same as it is. So my final answer would be m square plus 16, m plus 4, 2 square is 4, m minus 4. Again, very, very important question. Okay. Exact same question can come. So make sure you practice this question once again with power 4. Another question you can take it as m power 4 minus n power 4. This also is very important. Any doubt in any step? Yes, 